Hi, I'm Reginald. Yeah, over here, in the basket. Yeah, that's me. Not that you can tell the difference. I was so young back then. So naive. Sitting in that awful basket, just waiting. Waiting for something to happen. Anything. Little did I know. It was about to. This... This is it! He's coming for me! He's choosing me! Yes! Yes! It's finally happening! Oh! What is happening? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Gerald? Gerald, is that you? Buddy. Come on, Gerald, listen for once in your life. Gerald! Why won't he answer? Why won't he answer? Okay. Okay, calm down. Calm down. It's okay. He just can't hear you over the over the noise. It's gonna be okay. Gerald! What are you do what are you doing with Gerald? No! No, please don't hurt him! Ah! It was then that I realized that the world isn't all that I imagined it to be. I knew that I would suffer the same outcome as my dear friend Gerald, but as it turned out, fate had other plans. No. I, I want to live. Please. Why didn't they just kill me right away? Why was I spared? I may never know exactly what motivated my captors to do what they did, but it happened nonetheless. I never suspected that the people who walked past my little perch on the edge of the basket every day could be such monsters. Hey man, you want an orange from the dining hall? What? I got an orange from the dining hall. Do you want it? Why'd you take it? Forgot I don't like oranges. You're an idiot. What am I gonna do with it? Just throw it away or something. No, dude. I got a better idea. We'll see. Trust me. That. He's got a little face. Great, now you both look like mistakes. Come on, he's beautiful. We need to come up with a name for him. No, we don't. I think we should. What What about Clarence? I think it's perfect. All right, whatever. Clarence. What an ugly name. An ugly name to match an ugly face. That much I was certain of. The rest? Well, I wasn't so sure. Not until the next morning. Yo, S Steven! Why is this thing still out here? I thought you took this out. What? The orange! Oh, you mean Clarence? Yeah, what's he just been sitting here? He's just gonna rot. Well, he's like a watchdog. He keeps us safe at night. Okay, you're seriously just an idiot. Just throw it out. You can't just throw him out. He needs an honorable send-off. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna toss him out that window. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh god, please, don't do this! Please, please, don't do this, please! I can't, 
I can't, please. Don't do this, please. Please, no. Please. Ah! You want, like, a countdown or something? Just throw it already. Jeez, fine. Those were hard times, laying on the cold pavement, gasping for breath, surviving through the heat and the rain, hoping, praying for someone to come along, anyone, anyone but him. change. Really? still alive gives me hope. Hope that maybe Gerald survived too and is out there somewhere. Though maybe it would be better for him if he wasn't. But this existence isn't so bad. I've learned to enjoy it in a way. Nothing more can go wrong at this point and things are quiet now. The sun is warm on my peel and things are peaceful. The least I can do is be happy. Even when everything has gone wrong, because isn't that what our duty is? Life is going to go wrong. Bad things will happen, but in the end, it's okay. So long as we keep smiling, and when I finally decompose, maybe I can make use of myself. My organic matter going to feed another. And life goes on. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. <laughs>